Um, so if you can, just first off, just give us a little bit. I want a little bit of just a little bit of your background. Oh. Um, where did you come from? What what were you involved in before you started actually looking at uh, some of the things in the scriptures or things that may have been piquing your interest to look a little deeper? Oh, I just I always tell people like I'm just the most regular dude you could ever come across. You know, I mean, really, it's just a person sitting at home going through. The, you know, how we could just go through the paces. You you wake up, you go to work, come back home. Correct, work, correct. Work. You know, and uh, just just out of, you know out of the blue, you know, your, your dad asks you, say, "Hey, son, can you go and figure out where a family tree is?" Because we were because at the time mm. we we had lost uh, contact with our, our family that's in Alabama. Mm. So my dad wanted you know he was he was getting getting to the age where I started asking him questions and he couldn't answer the questions. So he was so he started he he, he knighted me to go and try to figure it figure it out. Gotcha. And uh, you know so I, I went to the the, the usual um, places like Ancestry.com and some of these other places where I could try to find out relatives or whatnot. And you know I actually made made good progress because I tell people I was able actually able to find you know the family name on like a slave manifest you know so wow. I, I figured that hey wow you know we were over in alabama and and that's where we started from but mm -hmm. but then i started asking questions like well where were we where were we before this you mm -hmm. know and that's when i started to try to you know backtrack across the ocean you know over into africa yes you know and you kind of land over in the, the west coast of africa and the, the first what they talk what they tell you is like the first part of the transatlantic slave trade and um you know uh you know, I, I usually I ran into a lot of the usual narrative as far as you know where we came from, and of mm -hmm. course the narrative. Oh, you was hanging on trees, you know. Yeah, exactly. We, we rescued you, you know. Rescued. You ought to be thankful, you know, <laughs> that sort of thing. <laughs> but um, but I started to to uh, find because I, I I think in my line of work, cause I'm I'm an IT person by by trade, mm -hmm. and part of my line of work is is analyzing stuff like find you know troubleshooting root calls. So. I have to look for patterns. Like my biggest thing is, yes. is looking for patterns. And so when I started to research, I started to find a pattern. I was like, wait a minute. Mm. Every time I come across an old book, old book says this. Every time I come across a new book, mm. it says this. And basically it was like when I old books talk about the Jew, you know, the Jews being black, especially in Spain, Spain and Portugal. New books said that they're white. You know, I just regular investigation. Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. well, why why is it different? You know, that that's real mm. thing. And um and so that's that's what started me down the, the whole um, um, path of researching and, and trying to get trying to figure out why things were the way they were. And what I tell people is like when you're doing our hist when you're doing your history, it's a it's a place in time. It's a it's a place and a time where our history is located. Mm. A place and a time. So the time is you know before certain I mean, like the books before like 1850. You know yes. that's that's the time. Mm -hmm. And the place was over in Spain and Portugal because that's where our history started off at. Mm -hmm. And I, I found it like once you find that place in time and then you focus your energy, you know, doing the research there, you find a treasure trove of information as far as our history is concerned. Yes, and that's, mm -hmm. and like you said, even dealing with the Spain and Portugal, yeah. um, cause like we were just conversating before we started, right, right. Um, you know, me being a um, rapper, artist, you know, stuff like that. <laughs> um, but you even going into that um, that research yeah. and finding out that we wore black hoodies, we were known as the uh, the ones that wear black hoodies, right. and we had some kind of gold chains, and they would see us doing spoken word. Living in ghettos. Living in ghettos. Eating chicken, actually. That's one of the Eating things. chicken <laughs> in the ghettos. So that if that ain't yeah. our makeup, then what yeah. is, you know? Yeah. But seeing that, that even showed me, even from that aspect, mm -hmm. um, that African bambada and them didn't, <laughs> Sugar Hill and all them they didn't do that. Nope. This was way before them. Yeah. You know, this this came, you know, from our hist our history books, our culture, yep. uh, the scriptures. But you telling and and stating that this was before you even put any of that research out, oh. just in conversation, you told me this. Mm. And it sparked something in me. Um and it gave me a drive even in that area of music to go back and get what was ours, to go back mm -hmm. and claim what was ours, to reclaim that throne, yeah. which was ours. So now we find you <laughs> inside of Reclaiming the Throne, this oh. wonderful movie, this wonderful docuseries mm -hmm. um, that like we've been saying has is will be talked about from generations on end, right. um, will be passed around as heirlooms, as treasures, right. 
as uh, you know stuff that'll be in a you'll find it in a safety deposit box, <laughs> you know, along with gold, silver, right. and as reclaiming the throne. Right, right. right. So those different things that you are um, a part of, man, it's like really, you know, it, mm. sometimes even coming up in life, mm. we may have had people told us we never be nothing. Mm. You never mount to nothing. Yep. You're going to be just like your sovereign daddy, or mm. just like your brother, or just like your uncles. But then now you have people that are coming up and that ha are a part of they are a part of something that is is so you can't describe it. Mm. You know, it's because it it can't be traced. It can't right. be measured. Mm. Yep. It's immeasurable. It can't you can't say, uh, well, here it is and it's going to go tomorrow. No, you can't say that because it's going back to the beginning yep. and then it stretches to eternity. But you being a part of that, and even in the mm. segment of the film that you're in, the stuff that you're describing, right. is a part of that transatlantic slave trade, um, yep. where our roots and our origin started, or what we were doing before we got here. So, if you can just explain just a, a little bit of that, um, of what was your process? What was your mm. even? I don't know if you can initially, if you remember. What was your initial expression when you first identified us as being the people? Well, um, I'd say it was, so the process actually changed me. Mm. So remember, because I don't know, we were, I forget when we were talking about this, but um, you know how you, you try to, uh, you know, try to approach it with family, try to share the truth with, with family and, and friends and stuff mm -hmm. like that. You know, I, so I used to be the kind of person that, I would try to track them down and say, hey, you know, beat them over the head with it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, 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 this is the truth and, and give them reference after, after reference after reference. Mm. But going through like the, you know, the research with the movie and, and you know, reclaiming the thrones, it's like one of the things I realized is that it's an honor to be Israel. Yes. It's an, I mean, it's an honor to be Israel. It's an honor to be a, a, the family of David. Mm. You know, and that's one of, that was one of the things that we touch on uh, in the movie. And it's like, um, it's almost like, if someone's trying to give you a promotion, like try, they're trying to track you down to be the VP or the, the president of a, of, a, of a company, and you're like, no, no, I don't want it. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 but you're the, you're the VP, you're, you're the CEO. Wow, no, no, yes, no, 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 no. Yes. It's like after a while, I was like, would you hire anybody that didn't want to be a VP? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's how I feel, feel about the, the, this information that's coming out. It's like, it's an it's a honor and a privilege, like this information that, that's coming out, because one, it explains a whole lot. Like yes. all, all this stuff that's happening in the world, it's, you know, when you have the, the people um, mm. it, it, when it comes to prophecy, when you have the people of prophecy mixed up, then prophecy makes no sense. Correct. But when you get the the people in the right place, then property makes makes sense. Mm. And so that's why when you know when you look at this movie, when you re re look at Reclaiming the Thrones, it explains who we walk, who we are, the people, the children of Israel, and mm -hmm. people will ask you, well, you know, there's neither, neither Jew, no Greek, nor the bond, no free. There's, there's no 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 reason, no, no need for you to know who you are. But what I tell people is like, well, but there's prophecy that has to do with Israel, that, that has to be fulfilled, whether you agree with it or not, it has to come to pass. Correct. And, and then, so once you, you understand that, you know, in present day, you're, you're able to put things into this uh, proper perspective. And to me, it gives you shalom. You know, it gives you, you know, a whole lot of uh, peace and shalom knowing that, that um, you know, hey, you are the people of the book. You know, the one thing that, you know, one of the things that this movie does lay in your lap is proof because a lot of the times when you're trying yes, to sit down with families, yes. it's like you said, they're always trying to grill you on 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 proof. Well, what does it say? Give me a book that that shows me what you're talking about, mm -hmm. and you can give them thirty books. And that's that's, that's the thing about this phenom phenomenal about this movie is the 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 sheer volume of references. Yeah, that's yes. contained in this movie. Yes, and not all of it is in the film. You know, I'm sure Chief will tell you it's like you know, it, you know, you can only put so much, you know, in, in the film. A lot of that stuff you gotta, you know, some of that stuff you have to leave out. Correct. But there's so much more, um, you know, so many references that's, that's behind it, and that's why it's so factual. That's why it's so, so, you know, when it comes to the truth and presenting the truth, it's so overwhelming. And that's the thing mm -hmm. that I was worried about was the was the sheer volume of information that we wanted to share with people trying to figure out who they were, who they yeah. are, you know, and you know, this it knocks it out the park. And that is yeah. the truth. Um, yeah. Like you said, it makes it, uh, it makes it, you know, it's, it's irrefutable. You can't, mm -hmm. you can't rebuttal 
<laughs> you know, you just be rebuttaling just because your will right. is to rebuttal. Right, right. You know, because, I mean, the proof is in the pudding. Mm. Like, it really is. Once you see those things that tie. And you, if you really think about it, this is the mm. only thing, really, that people will challenge you on like that. Mm-hmm. Cause yeah. you can go to a, you you can go to a doctor, mm. and a doctor tell you yeah yeah you 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 high blood pressure because you've been eating too much salt shrimp pork mm. all that stuff and be like you don't ever say how you know that doctor <laughs> well show me evidence doctor mm-hmm. you don't do that we'll take that stuff as word as bond as true yeah we won't say hey, who was mm. your teacher mm. well don't you know a man wrote that we don't do that <laughs> in that space. Um, but when it comes to finding out who we are, that's why, you know, a saying that says, you know, a man convinced against his will is of the same mind still. Mm. Because if you, like the scripture says, because you will not to come to me. Mm. You will, your, your will is to not want to accept what truth is, to, right. un, to accept what, who you are. But like you said, it's a great um, shalom that comes with it mm-hmm. um, because it shows you Man, I am not who they said I am. Mm. I am not what 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 rap has told me was what right. I was. I'm not what um, you know the drug dealers and the people on the corner mm. are telling me that I am. I am not <laughs> yep. what what the uh, Egyptologists and all these people mm-hmm. are saying that I am. Yep. Because now I have evidence. I have something I can stand on. Right. I have something. Uh, I can tie myself to it. And then now that automatically wakes up something in you. Mm. You know, and it also <laughs> makes you shoulder some kind of responsibility because now it is, it is. you have yeah. something to live for. Yeah. Because now you understand your purpose and the things that you're supposed to be doing in this life. Yeah. And it's all detailed inside of the film that you're a part of, man. And that is that is an awesome uh, thing to be, you know, a part of that, yeah. you know what I mean? And then, um, so another question I have for you. Mm. So how did it feel, like, because we don't know if anybody's a, a actor, you know, in your acting background, how did it yeah. feel to be in front of that camera, oh. being able to get that truth out to millions all in one shot? Oh, it was surreal, and it wasn't one shot. <laughs> <laughs> You know, it was it was a lot of stuttering going on. And, <laughs> you know, uh, thank goodness for teleprompters because you know, you know, one of my uh, not strong points is like going off the cuff. Like when you you drop those lyrics, you oh. know, man, you. That, I mean, that's that's what I admire admire about you. It's like you can you can drop it on the dime, but man, it's always but, most happening. But as far as me, I got to have it written out. <laughs> <laughs> so once we got the teleprompter, thing was things was was told, things was good. But um, but yeah, it was it was surreal because like like I said, at the end of the day, man, I'm just you know I'm just just a, a brother just like everybody else, you know. Mm. I, uh, don't wake up and just glide to the restroom, and glide downstairs, <laughs> glide to the car, you know. I'm doing everything that everybody else is doing, man. And, and I can say this, to me, it's just it's surreal. It's an honor. It's a blessing. I'm just you know it's a, a blessing to be a be a part of it. And um, yeah, I just can't wait to the. the the truth goes to the four corners of the, of the, of the earth, and this, that's what this is helping mm-hmm. to do. You know, Man. it's, it's a, a, a lot of information, you know, a lot of information. And that's, and that's a, um, you know, that's also an awesome thing because it, it's like all the information just can't be contained in just yep. one film. Mm-hmm. You know, you can't capture everything in just one film. So that continues a work. Yeah, it's a journey. You know, it's a journey. And it's this is a journey. this is just the beginning. When I tell people, it's like, this is just. I mean, and that's why I, I kind of feel like you know, you know, just we're kind of getting into the last days because what I tell folks is that you know we're not the necessarily the pioneers of information because there were elders that came before us Correct. that had the baton and they handed it off to us. Correct. You know, when it came, especially with me, when it came to the, the information about Spain and Portugal, mm. there was a gentleman by I think it's J. A. Rogers. Mm, okay. He literally walked, when you go through his books, he literally walks the history down to the west coast of Africa. And he kind of ends it at the, at the point where he's saying, you know, uh, just kind of paraphrase what he, what he mentions in, in his book. He, he says something to the, to the effect of, you know, uh, there, you know something will be, history will be made when we can figure out, like, what happened in this area. You know, mm. basically, he was able, able to track and trace the, the Israelites to the west coast of Africa, but that's as far as he can get, yeah. he could get at the time. And then fast forward to, the, to today, you know, we're able to, we were able to, you know, through the, you know, praise the Most High, we were able to not only identify what went on 
on, you know, on the west coast of Africa because we you know we looked at things like the names, you know, the names of the people that got on the, on the slave ships. And it's, it's funny because uh, a lot of times when you get pushback from people, they'll say, they'll deny, you know, we are who we are at the mm. same time having a um, an Israelite name tag on the back of the shirt in the jersey. And that's, yeah. another, that's another thing. It's like even the name, I tell people, even the name Negro, like people will say, oh, it's, Negro's just black. But not only is it black, but it's a Sephardic Israelite name. That's right. You know, and it's like, so we have all these things, like you said, you know, that um, that the Sephardic, you know, for lack of a better term, Sephardic Israelites do, I mean, all the characteristics, mm -hmm. I mean, we're a match. Like if you had, a, if you listed out a, a list of, of, um, of um, like a profile, like you were looking for somebody, mm -hmm. like you had a, a wanted, wanted add up, it's like, oh, he's, he's six foot four, you know, yeah, brown yeah. eyes, short hair, da, da, da. <laughs> and so our, the, the profile for the missing Israelites, because people will, they'll agree that they were there. They'll, they'll agree, I mean, if you, especially when you look at the old references, they'll, they'll agree that they were, they were uh, dark skinned people, that they were black people. Yeah. They'll, they'll agree on all this stuff. And if, you know, once you, you and you look at, look at this list of, of what they agree with, you know, uh, you know, being dark skinned, having Israelite names, like you're saying, you know, rapping, <laughs> yeah, uh, having, yeah. having hoodies. One of the, the best um, references that I still can't find to this day that it was describing a session of, of when mm. they were dropping lyrics and it was actually in this this amphitheater and it wow. talked about them you know just dropping dropping these lyrics and it, and it described one of the, the brothers as like it said like their their tendency is to wear chains so they would have chains on wow dropping racks you know, have, you know having hoodies and, and all this stuff living in ghettos living in ghetto <laughs> eating chicken eating chicken you know <laughs> Um, of course, you know, you uh, be, you know, be uh, rocking the beards or whatnot. You know, of course, having you know, being called Negro, by the way. Yeah. Wow. You know, and uh, you know, and, that, and that's the that's the profile that if you were to take that profile out and apply it to somebody here, or just kind of read that profile out loud, you're just like, oh, I know who that is. Those are those Negroes in the in the in the states. Correct. You know? Correct. Correct. Yeah. I mean, that's and that's key mm -hmm. because you are identifying the um, small things. Mm hmm. You know, the small, it's, it's those, you know, small foxes can spoil a vine, but it's also the small foxes oh. that help cultivate a vine. Right. So mm -hmm. the small things, like I remember I was talking to my dad for the first time about who we were and who mm -hmm. we are and what we're doing. Mm -hmm. He was like, man, I don't know about all that. <laughs> I said, Pop, <laughs> it's even fried chicken in the scriptures. No, it ain't you crazy. <laughs> ain't no fried chicken in the scriptures. Yeah. And I showed him, he was like, it's fried chicken in the scriptures. <laughs> Watermelon's in there too. Yeah. <laughs> Watermelon's in there, in there too. So even all of those things, mm. man. And it's like, like you said, we are reestablishing something that was already cemented. Mm -hmm. Like this stuff is not going anywhere. No. You know, you tried to kill it off. You tried to, uh, you tried to castrate it. You tried to rip it apart. Right. But it's still there. Yep. And yep. now it's coming a time where people are waking up. And they're being yes. able to trace these things, yep. and now we're being we're being restored. We are reclaiming mm -hmm. a throne. We are reclaiming a heritage. We right. are reclaiming our customs, uh, reclaiming our families, man. Yeah. Because, oh, <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna we like to thank Benai Israel for for oh, being a part you. of um, just this interview, D twenty eight production, sitting down with us, being able to just speak on mm -hmm. uh, a little bit about the film, man. And uh, also subscribe to his channel as well, uh, Hidden Hebrews. Uh, you want to make sure you subscribe to that to all the future things that he has going on. But it's a pleasure and honor. Pleasure, man. Much love. Yeah, shalom. 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 shalom.